Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show how to create an interactive report in SQL Server mobile report. Alright, so this is applicable for SQL report uh, 2016 and 2017. So once you open SQL Server mobile report publisher, you can see different visuals under different categories. So interactive report can be possible only with the navigators. So under navigators, you have time navigator, scorecard, grid and the selection list. So I'm going to show you the interactive re report based on the selection list. So let us drag and drop the selection list. So I have to pass some data into the selection list since it is it is holding the uh, sample data. I'm going to select the report element. I'm going to choose my own data set which is called the product levels and I'm going to delete this. So once I have selected, I have to choose the field which field I want to display in my selection list. I'm going to choose name as as it is. So it is going to show all the product names in my selection list. All right. So next I'm going to add the data grid. So let me add after the column so I can show you the differentiate. Again, I have to go to data elements here data properties. I have to choose the product levels and I can delete this one and here these columns are going to be visible in my data grid so if I preview so I can see selection list and my data grid if I click any of the value so it is selecting here I can see the selection here but it is not reflecting so it is not yet uh, interactive alright so we have to make it as a interactive so to make it interactive we need to go to data and uh, click selection list so under selection list you can see a data properties on the data properties you can see an option called filter these data sets when a selection is made so if you have a bunch of data sets inside your mobile report publisher it is going to display all the data sets so as i have only one data set i'm going to click check this uh, checkbox and I'm going to see uh, which name I have to filter it out. So uh, since I have selected name, I'm going to filter the name. So once I have uh, clicked this checkbox, I have to go to the, the next report element and I have to go to options and I can see filter by is enabled. So before that, if I uncheck, if I go to data grid, there is no filter option. So this will be visible when you enable the checkbox in the selection list. So I just click this checkbox and I'm going here and the option click selection list to click done. So now you can see there is no changes in this one but if I go to preview I can see the data. If I click this one it is going to be filtered. So this selection list is more interactive with the simple data grid. So instead of simple data grid I can create uh, different charts so that I can uh, select any of the product name so that specific product name will be filtered so it is going to be more interactive when you enable these uh, some selection list or timing in night time navigator or score guard grid so your more control has to be done in the data properties selection list data properties and the uh, other report element data properties please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you